Have you ever experienced any of these symptoms before? Headaches, trouble sleeping, jaw pain, changes in appetite, frequent mood swings, difficulty concentrating, feeling overwhelmed? Those are all signs of stress. I'm here today with Ms. LaJoy, a guidance counselor from Noble High School. What defines stress in kids our age? Well, stress is any feeling of emotional or physical tension in the body. It's the way your body responds to um, a demand or um, an act or a thought. A lot of times it can be caused by either things you're thinking about or things that happen to you or things that you witness. Um, anything that causes that anxiety or frustration in your body is considered stress. Thank you. What would you say is the most common thing kids our age come to you about? Uh, in schools or in high school and middle school, a lot of students come about social issues, social stress, like so stress with their friends, uh, mostly because when you're at this age level, you're trying to figure out who you are as a person, what your likes are, your dislikes, you're experiencing new things. Your friendships are going to shift and change because you might start really liking something different that your friends don't like, so your friend group sort of splits. That causes a lot of stress and anxiety and sadness sometimes. Also, people are dealing with relationships probably for the first time and have to learn how to cope with um, all of the emotions that go with relationships. And then you also add family stress. A lot of times we see students who are having some stress and anxiety and sadness or anger over their family structure, so siblings or parent issues. And then the last piece, because we're in a school, is school stress. So you have assignments and projects and tests and quizzes that all can cause a lot of anxiety um, from school. Why would you say they commonly have this problem? I think people just, it's just part of growing up, right? You kind of figure out who you are and what you're doing in society and then school is just part of the game. How do you recognize stress in people and what are some ways to deal with stress? Well, the, probably the most common way we recognize stress is a lot of times students will come and they're just so frustrated or so angry. We see a lot of anger, um, a lot of aggressive behavior towards one another, towards adults. So then we know that people are stressed. Um, other ways we see a lot of students that just shut down. So they just get sad. So if I walk into a classroom and someone has their head down, then I know that they're completely overwhelmed and shut down and they can't move forward from that moment. Um, ways to deal with it, it's really just about working that stress and tension out of your system. So exercise is a huge piece of getting rid of stress and dealing with stress because you're flushing those um, stress hormones out of your body. Um, talking with people is really helpful because it allows you to process and hear your thoughts out, out loud. Um, being with, you know, doing something that you really enjoy, like gaming with your friends um, or being around people that you enjoy, eating well, drinking water, um, and doing some relaxation breathing are all ways that you can deal with stress. Those are all great ways of dealing with stress. Do you think having pets can help reduce stress? Absolutely. I think pets are a great idea in help re helping reduce stress. Um, whether you're with your cat, your dog, your horse, your lizard, your fish, you are just mindful in that moment with that animal. So you're just paying attention to what the animal is doing. And by petting the animal or riding a horse or just being with that animal, it helps reduce your stress hormones and helps you a little bit relax and it gives you something else to focus on. Do you have anything else to add? Um, I think that it's really important that when you are stressed or you feel that stress, to seek out somebody that you trust, an adult, whether it's a school person or a family member. You can certainly rely on your friends. Um, and then just get outside and do something because it's really good to be active and get some of that tension out of your system. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Here are some facts about stress. Stress can change your body temperature. Long-term stress can seriously affect your mental health. Poor nutrition makes stress worse. Stressing too much can increase the chances of stroke or heart attack. You can find more facts about stress on the same website we did. Go to www.healthline.com for stress facts. Special thanks to Ms. LaJoy.